I can't get a beat on you, man. So, we're doing Grimace's Birthday, the board game. There's a Game Boy Color game, but we have the board game. Now, here is the hero. That's Grimace. And Grimace is dumber than a bag of hammers, but we love Grimace anyway. Now, on the opposite, this is very similar to Pac-Man, right? But on the other hand, we have two characters. One is Jessica Rabbit, who's uh, recently divorced. And then beside that, we have King Hippo. Now, Grimace, all Grimace wants to do is eat hamburgers and French fries and chicken nuggets and drink uh, milkshakes, okay? That's all he cares about. And maybe he gets good at fighting. Uh, you got King Hippo, who hates Grimace. And he wants to take over as the, as the new mascot at McDonald's. So he's challenging him to a fight, and Grimace, of course, as usual, is too dumb to understand or respond. But he's, he's lovable. People, the, the kids love him. He still does like them. He took over for Ronald for the magic shows. And there you got uh, Jessica Rabbit there. And Jessica Rabbit, she wants $50 million, and then she's set, okay? So she doesn't care how she gets it. But she'll also run away with the, the, with the best boxer. So... At this time, it might be King Hippo or it might be Grimace. Now, we're going to do this a certain way. Let me just move everything around here because I have to. This is all in one take, okay? This is Grimace's heart points. It's a six sided die, okay? So Grimace is not the strongest. And this is King Hippo's die. This is King Hippo's uh, heart points. He has about a hundred. So. Uh, King Hippo can take out Grimace with 100 heart points. That's his versus that. So it would seem that unless uh, Grimace rolls a 6 and King Hippo rolls uh, a 5 or lower, it's not looking for very good for Grimace. So along the way, you can meet different people. There's money to collect. There's food to collect. Uh, it'll be very, I'm not going to go over the mechanics of this. We're just going to start the fucking game. Let's just start. We're going to start with this card that Grimace is standing on. And that is a Nine of Diamonds. And with that, we get ooh, $10 million. So that's in Grimace's pocket. So he found money. The diamond signifies money. That's $10 million. Let's see what Jessica gets. Jessica gets a three of spades. Now, whenever we get a spades, that propels King Hippo to move forward. And he can move any, any number of ways. And it doesn't have to be exact. So as long as he's able to reach Grimace, all King Hippo wants to do is kick, kick the share of Grimace and then become the new Grimace. So he's going to go forward, actually, three squares. So we're going to skip this, this starting card and we're going to go to three squares. And we're going to see what King Hippo has landed on in a moment, if I can get the card. Doing board games is difficult. Now this is a five of hearts. Now in this scenario, you have found a person. <clears throat> this is the person, this is a construction worker. So this construction worker, she can barely see, but he's, uh, you know, he's like, hey, I'm a fan of yours. Uh, uh, or like, or no, he's like, uh, vote for King Hippo. I'm, I'm gonna be the newest McDonald's mascot. And this guy is like confused, okay? Now either money or food can probably sway this person. So the people that the hearts represent play an important role later on. So now what we're going to do is roll a separate six-sided die. Hold on. Are you ready? Are you feeling it? Here's a die. Different numbers. Oh, whatever. It's a five. So Grimace will go five. And it has to be like kind of like a rook. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. Now... Let's find out what he has landed on. This is the square is a six of hearts. So he has met an, another, there's another person, if we can find this. This is sort of a, an architect, I guess. Uh, somebody who's helping build buildings. So uh, he recognizes, oh, I'm Grimace, hey. And he's like, uh, okay. So, and does he give him the money? Yes. He gives money. So this is money to the fans, okay? So this guy gets the 10 million, okay? So he keeps, this is fan money, okay? 
And the more money that there is, it will equal heart points for each person. So this will factor later on when and if we get to King Hippo here. So this money is going to the Sven. Because Grimace doesn't really need the money. He just wants the fucking food. Okay. Now we roll for Jessica. Jessica wants that cash. She needs 50 million, then she just runs off. And we got a three. We can go to her left three squares and see what we get, or three rectangles. Now this is a two of clubs. Now, this is, we'll say that it's a hamburger, okay? Now, if she runs into Grimace, she can give Grimace the hamburger. She's not, I mean, she doesn't, you know, she thinks, not much of King Hippo. King Hippo doesn't want the food. But if she rolls, let's say, one, two, three, four, maybe like six or more, like at least a six, right? Um, then she can get to Grimace faster and give him the hamburger because he could use that hamburger. But if King Hippo touches a food, he could transform that hamburger into a robot or a dinosaur, whichever one, whichever one. Let's go ahead and roll again for uh, King Hippo. Let's see where he goes. Okay, he is also going three and two, three. Okay, so that's the square he is touching. A joker. Now, when we get a joker, we will have to... I have a, a uh, separate container. Hold on. When in times like this, we consult the birdie. Or is that a peep? Well, it's definitely not birdie. So, we have a, a card-themed die in here. It's an eight-sided die. And I will, I'm going to have to scan this phone up because, you know, we do these things. And hopefully, I'm shaking this now. Oh, I forgot. I forgot Diddy Kong was in here. Sorry about that. And that appears to be a clubs. So that's another piece of food. And this is a milkshake. But here's what happens, okay? So, from the Joker, we got a clubs. That's a milkshake. Got to put the bird aside. This transforms, right, into a robot. Now the robot gets a turn. So, and the robot is on King Hippo's side, okay? So now, we have to... Roll for the uh, the robot. That's a four. So he can go one, two, three, four. Now Grimace is fighting the robot. So what we have to do is the robot, I would say, is about 40 hit points. Not exactly... I'm just, I'm just making this up as I go along. Don't, don't worry about it. Okay, hold on. So we're going to determine Grimace's uh, hard points first, his, his duel. So we'll go ahead and do that. So um, let's see if I can get us more centered. Okay. So that's a five. Now we take the 220 die. And that is a 23. But now, because the worker is here, we're going to see if he can help Grimace out. Because the workers can factor. If you give them, if you give them the cash, right, they can help Grimace. Because you pay somebody money, they'll help beat up anybody for you. So let's see if, let's see if this guy will figure it out. Let's see. Uh, I have to figure this out for myself. Okay, so the worker uses 320. So he's a bit stronger. He can help take out this robot. I'm going to roll the three D20s and see what that does. And that gives us 30, 36. So the robot is destroyed. Grimace cannot eat the robot uh, when it's in that form. So he survives again. Now, once the guy's loyal to Grimace, he will always be loyal. So he will not turn on him. So uh, let's go ahead and roll for Grimace. We're back to... Three, three characters and not four. Uh, this guy does not... These two workers, uh, these two people do not roll anything. He hasn't been paid. He has been paid. Oh. 
Don't knock the poor guy over. Uh, two. So let's have him go over here and see what happens here. Now, Grimace's hard points is still... Oh, here we go. So even with a jack of spades, King Hippo can go the necessary squares to get to... to uh, so this is the fight, okay? Jessica's watching. She's watching the entire thing, okay? And so, you know, we're going to see what happens here. So it is now the, the fight of the century, okay? We've got a six die versus a hundred die. So we're, first we're going to roll Grimaces, okay? So here are the two little platforms that kind of keep things in track. That is a fucking five. In order for Grimace to win, okay, uh, King Hippo has to get a one through four. And judging by this, this die here, I don't know if that's going to fucking happen. But the way I would do it is kind of just kind of, you know, turn and toss the ball around. And judging by the topmost number, that looks like a 75. So, of course, he has turned Grimace around. And the ending to this is that King Hippo is here. Jessica Rabbit has fallen in love with King Hippo, okay? Grimace is out cold, and uh, King Hippo is a bit homeless, so he doesn't have any money for her. But he can take her, courtesy of Two-Face, because he's the Uber driver, they get to ride along in their shitty car. And that's the end of that. There's multiple endings, multiple uh, luxuries. If King Hippo gets money, he could get her a nicer vehicle or a nicer house um, since he has no home. He's an out-of-work out of boxer because King uh, Little Mac kept kicking his ass many times in uh, Wii uh, Punch-Out. And King Hippo doesn't know what sex is anyway, so he wouldn't know what to do with uh, Jessica if he had her. So if you like this video, if you like this board game, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up. You know what to do. Uh, and we'll do some more gameplay uh, next time. I'll do some Star Trek, uh, more Star Trek BD chess.